Sharp. Good morning, guys. How are you, Jenny? How are you? I'm Glad great. to have you back. Thank mm. you. Well, Skip did pretty well yesterday. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I, he did pretty well. I no. thought I'd help out a little no, bit. No, no, no. Glad to have you here, Jenny. You're Thanks welcome. for coming. Uh, I'd like to say welcome back to Jenny. I would like to say get well soon, Joy Taylor. Yes. And I would like to say congratulations to you because you don't have to deal with me as the moderator today. <laughs> and you now have the world's nicest substitute teacher. And she will let you get away with all your little shenanigans that you usually do that I didn't let you get away with yesterday. Yesterday's moderator was biased. Mm. And so I'm glad he's not <laughs> filling in today because yep. he Played favorites. Yeah. I'll try to I keep it as this easy as Exactly. Yeah. What's up, How are you? I'm good, good. All right, let's start with uh, a crazy story in the in the NBA. Shall we? Yes. Could LeBron James become a Golden State Warrior? ESPN reports the Warriors could be in play for LeBron when he's expected to become a free agent this summer. If they can create a max salary slot, LeBron would listen to an offer. A sign and trade would be the most realistic scenario with Clay Thompson possibly going to Cleveland. Shannon, can you see this actually happening? LeBron would do his due diligence. Skip, you remember the first time he went to Miami, he actually sat down with six teams. The Heat, the Clippers, uh, the Nets. The Bulls, there are so you, we know he will do his homework. He and his team will leave no stone unturned to make sure LeBron maximizes all his options. Mm -hmm. He wants a chance to compete for titles. Mm -hmm. He wants a front office and ownership that will spend and to make sure he's afforded every possibility every single year to compete for a title. And if that means spending in the luxury tax, that's what you have to be willing to do. Um, so I'm not surprised by this. He also like loves stability. What he's going through right now, Skip, they fired their general manager last year, three days before the draft. The, well, mm -hmm. they issued a statement. They were not going to renew his contract. It ran out on the 30th. Mm -hmm. So three days before the draft, yep. they issued that statement saying they were not going to renew it, basically terminating his contract. Yeah. Probably, probably having deals on the table. Now Dan Gilbert steps in and says, so, okay, who do we call now? They had no general manager, so I guess everybody was calling Dan Gilbert. Uh, I just don't see it happening, Skip. I don't. Because? It would be. Skip, you can't put three best players in the NBA currently on one team. Why not? Because you can't. That's not right. It's, it's doable. It is. It's it, workable. Anything is possible. They put man on the moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you see the election of 2016? So anything is possible, <laughs> Skip Bayless. No, 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 no. And here, here's, the, here's the kicker. Him going somewhere else and winning one title would be better than winning three in Golden State. Just like that one that he won in Cleveland mm -hmm. is more valuable than the two that he got in Miami. Hmm. You, you just can't stand the prospect of the heat that LeBron would take, so to speak, for going to join forces with that dynasty, right? I mean, why, 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 what's the problem? Well, that's your problem. No, no, you know? no. I don't. You know, is that yeah, why it, it, it's, yeah. it's sticking in your craw? I can see it. I can feel I, it. I, I can I, hear I, it. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't, even even I might, I, I might just have to back up. Really? Yeah, I might just have to back up. You back that. off your man? I'm going to have to back up. I ain't going to say I'm going to get totally off. But here's another thing, Skip. Would I be surprised if he sat down with the, with the Boston Celtics? Nope. Okay. He loves stability in the front office. Mm -hmm. He loves structure. He doesn't like chaos. I mean, people like, well, LeBron likes chaos. He might like to create it, but he likes upper management mm -hmm. to be on the straight and narrow. Yep. Not a whole lot of dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And what we know with Golden State, they run a tight ship. The Clippers with uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jerry West intact now, mm -hmm. they run it the right way. Danny Ainge in Boston, they do things the right way. So any, San Antonio, would I be, would he, you know he's going to sit down with Pop and R.C. Buford because they do things the right way now. Yep. All that's going to be contingent on what they're going to do with. That's you know, correct. With uh, Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard. Yep. But uh, am I surprised? No. Do I see it happening? I don't see it happening. Mm. So I remind you that. Last week, Chris Broussard was sitting right here, and I brought this possibility up to you both. Yes. And you were both taken aback by it for a moment, mm -hmm. and you immediately said, if I'm quoting you correctly, the, no way the commissioner would allow this to happen. Exa that's exactly what right? I said. And yet, as 
laid out by ESPN.com, mm -hmm. you can see how this would actually fit under the cap as a sign and trade. Yes. The trades would have to be Clay and Iguodala. Because the salaries have, have to yeah, match. Okay. And Kevin Durant would have to opt out of his current contract and then re-sign at less money and take another one for the team. Mm -hmm. Would he do that? That's debatable. But if you did that and you'd have to renounce Sean Livingston and then you'd have to fill the bench with minimum salary players, right. okay? But th that it's doable under the soft cap as opposed to the hard NFL cap, but the soft cap of the NBA will allow this to happen. So I don't think the commissioner could put the kibosh on this one because it's just... It's business, right? Yeah, David Stern wouldn't let Chris Paul go join Paul Gasol and Kobe. I still don't understand that one, but I don't know what happened behind the scenes on that one. But this is up front, under the cap, this will work. And ESPN.com is quoting sources around the league who are all sitting back saying, aha, uh -huh, this, this is looming. You know, this has got real possibilities here. Yeah, but that wouldn't be. <laughs> okay, so. Going then, 79 and 3. Okay, going 70, right. 77 you, you and 5. You said that last week. And then Chris Broussard said to me, you would kill LeBron for doing that. And honestly, I would not. Trust me on this. You can check the tape. I did not kill LeBron for taking his talents to South Beach when he left Cleveland the first time right. to join forces with, obviously, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. You killed him more for going back to Cleveland. I did. <laughs> I, I did. Because I couldn't believe after the bridge got burned by Dan Gilbert, you'd join forces with him. Yeah. You'd, you'd try to peacefully coexist with that guy. Right who betrayed you completely because he thought you betrayed him. Correct. And now look what's happened. It's it predictable. It. it went right back to where it was the yep. first time, right? Yep. So the reason I wouldn't, quote, unquote, kill LeBron for this is he's chasing that ghost in Chicago, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, and in the end, it's like KD. I did not kill KD for leaving Russell Westbrook in his 10th season to go join forces with those guys out there on the West Coast in Golden State because all Kevin was thinking is, I, I haven't won a single championship. Right. Guess what? He has now, yeah. and he's won a Finals MVP. And when you, when all is said and done, and the smoke clears, and the years start to pass, you look back on Kevin Durant's career, and you just say, "Oh, rings, right?" Yeah. And you yeah. don't really think about how he won the rings. You just think about that he did win the ring. Correct. Well, so if LeBron, let's do the hypothetical. If he joins forces then with Steph and KD, there'd be no clay, but there would. Probably be a Draymond, so those three, yeah. okay, good, I got that. But when the smoke clears on LeBron's career, what if he added, dare I say, three more rings, two, even two more rings and say three finals appearances? Who knows what right. could happen? Well, but we, but well, all of a sudden, you'd be getting up in rare air, right? Well, we, this is what we know, Skip. He would never, ever win another MVP. I don't believe anybody no. on that roster would okay. win the MVP. So that would be out. Rings possible. But he, and then this is what you're going to have. You're going to have somebody, you're going to have Boston, or you're going to have some other team because it's reported that Golden State's going to try to make a play at Anthony okay. Davis. Basically, you have like four teams and 26 other teams with no chance of winning the title. Okay, fine. Now, I'm going to flip the script on this, and I'm going to put you back on the hot seat because we're only looking at it from LeBron's point of view. Mm -hmm. Let's look at it from Golden State's point of view. Yes. Guess what, boys and girls? I believe that Steph and KD, if asked what they think about this, no. they would say no. Yeah. In fact, I think they'd say an emphatic no. I think even Draymond, who's now kissed and made up with LeBron like they're buds now, I yeah. don't know. But, but I think even Draymond would say, we don't need him. What, 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 look what we're doing. Right. We're, we're creating a dynasty. And now here's, here's the, the looming truth. I'm starting to see signs of age in LeBron James. And I saw it again last night in the second half. He's, he's, remember, this is the end of his 15th season. Next year will be his 16th season. Mm -hmm. And l l just look at what's happened since Christmas. Have you not seen a little slowing down? Yeah. Maybe not on the offensive end, but his plus minus now is the fourth worst in the NBA since Christmas. Mm -hmm. And you can throw Isaiah into this bad mix, and, yes. and, and he can be the new scapegoat. And I, I get all that. But fourth worst in the NBA? Plus minus, that's out of 515 NBA players, and that's LeBron James. Mm -hmm. So he's now third in the NBA in turnovers. 
Well, that's no good. And he had no. six in the first half last night, and we're starting to see more and more just sort of careless, out of it turnovers. But and a lot then, of his turnovers, who are you trying to get the ball to? Okay, well, you can. It's a fair point, and he's trying to do too much with too little. You can argue, but but he's starting to turn the ball over at a dangerously high rate, mm -hmm. and then his defensive win shares. Just individually, he's dropped to 317th in the NBA. And going into last night, and we're going to talk about last night in a little bit, but going into last night, they had fallen into a tie for dead last in overall defense as a, as a team. Well, they should. Okay, they, they, they should. That's how they were playing. Yeah. Okay, and last night, somehow they held Miami to 89 points, but we'll talk about why when you shoot three for 28 from three, that helps. But, yeah. or hurts, that's, you know? that's more about bad Miami's offense you, you opposed could, to good, you, we'll, according to good Cleveland's defense. Correct. But, again, are any of these guys in Golden State LeBron's banana boat buddies? You know, no. like is, is there a Dwayne or a CP3 or a Mello? Nope, they're not those guys. Have they all had their differences and little quarrels over the mm – -hmm. yeah, they all have. Are they all getting along pretty well? Yeah, so that it, it would probably work – you know, just sort of off the court, but I just don't think they would want him on the but court. But OKD go get a chance to see what it's like to play with LeBron again on the All Star team. Okay. Don't so think that's an accident. Could be skip. one back over. Don't think. Don't think that's I an told accident. You. Okay. I told you who he was going to pick first. You talking about? Don't no, don't do it. We just trying to see if this thing could work. So now we're two. If you can't beat them, join them. Don't right? skip, stop. Am I right? Well, that's what that smacks up. It don't me. smack of nothing. Yeah. And then what? What do you do with the next pick around? His next? He picks Kyrie next. What? What are you doing? He picked Kyrie fifth. Well, I mean, but it was he picked Anthony okay, Davis his second, and then the next pick. But, but, but Kyrie, have, Kyrie could, would have still been on the board yeah. for another couple of picks, I think. But it, and he picked Kyrie. But here's the thing: Would Kyrie have picked LeBron? No. Well, he's not going to be the lead vote getter along with LeBron the knees, so oh. we don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, here's the thing: the All Star game, you're trying to win, but you're trying to put on the show. Mm -hmm. And what can Kyrie do better than anybody in the NBA? He can dribble the basketball. So he's going to be able to put on the show. That's not why LeBron picked him. We tried to win. Please. We're stop. trying to win the game. LeBron's thinking, we got to put on the best show, so I want Kyrie. No, 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 no. That's not what no, he's no, no. doing. He says, I said, first, we're trying to win. Yeah. That's what this is about. Remember, they increased the winner's share to $100,000. So they want the game to be more competitive. He felt having Kyrie gave him a great chance to win. Mm -hmm. So that's why he got KD first, AD second, got Kyrie third, which was fifth overall. LeBron is trying to win the game, Skip. If you want the game to be taken serious, you take the draft process serious. Mm -hmm. You get the best guys that's going to give you the best chance to win. And that's how LeBron built his team. And it's giving them a head start when he owns a team. Mm. But he won't be able to pick just all-stars, so you don't know what they're going to be. You're picking them wrong. Yeah. So, back to poor LeBron's plight. Stop You're saying stuck poor LeBron. LeBron. He ain't poor. Stuck. He didn't have enough help. <laughs> And now he's got an owner slash GM and Dan Gilbert, who has obviously taken over the basketball operations, who is, I'm pretty sure him. he's undercutting him because he's leaning toward, well, you won't commit to me. So I'm not going to commit the one big chip that I yeah. got to trade th this Brooklyn first round pick. I'm not going to trade it because I got to keep it to, to cover myself in case you leave me, which you probably are. Yeah. And then he all chummy. He uh, Oh, how you doing, IT? Yeah, we go, we go. Be yeah, they're buds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going places. They ain't going nowhere. By the way, Isaiah's not going anywhere on the basketball court. He's yeah. just not right, man. He's not healthy. But, He's and, and not everybody... right. That's scary. He's trying to do things. As, here's, the, here's the problem, Skip. Isaiah is 5'9", so he's an undersized man in the land of giants. If he's not explosive, if he's not quick, he's an ordinary guy. And, and I'm talking about lateral and vertical yeah. quickness yeah. because he's getting to the rim and he doesn't even have any vertical. He can't go up quick. And, and Guys throwing his shot out, yeah. blocking the shot like it's nothing. I mean, it's, it's looking kind of pathetic. And that's the thing. I mean, yeah. he spends more time on the floor. I thought Dwayne Wade spent a lot of time on the floor. He got D. Wade beat because, you know, every time D. Wade make a layup, D. D Wade slide like he's a soccer player. <laughs> but I tease, Skip. This is getting embarrassing, Skip. What and again, last night, like 2 of 15. 15. Whoa. Two and fifteen. Zero for six. six. Not looking good. Nope. Not if looking good. If you look good. at look at LeBron's numbers, every single LeBron number since Isaiah's been back, field goal percentage, yep. free throw percentage, mm -hmm. three point percentage, yep. points a game, assist a game, rebounds per game. Everything is down, Skip. Mm -hmm. That's not an accident. Okay, so you're stuck. And if that no, pick I'm, isn't I'm stuck for another four months, okay, I you, be stuck after you're that. stuck, and it's not looking good for you to get back to your what would this eight be your straight. eight straight finals. Right. So, the dilemma is a lot of reports about would LeBron join Banana Boat Buddy CP3 in Houston with James Harden. 
Okay, so where does that get LeBron? Because all he can do to keep building his legacy is he needs to at least get back to finals. Because right. if you if you got to an eight straight final, that's that's pretty great. I mean, you gonna okay? think, would you think less of him if he didn't get to? So what? So what? What about the seven that he did get to? Okay, but I'm I'm just saying when you're three and five, you better get to a bunch in a row because that's all you're going to be able to sell when the smoke clears. No, right? you know, we won't get to him. The only way we can win is we got to get to him. So we, we keep knocking down the door. We keep okay, so out help door. me out. If you go to Houston with those two guys who have always come up small in the postseason, CP3 and James, mm -hmm. and you join forces with them, what are your odds of getting past that group in Golden State with those guys? What, what's, I what like are the odds? I, like I don't that. like your odds. I like their odds better than what, what they got in Cleveland. Okay, but at least in Cleveland, all you have to get by it's is Boston. Boston and maybe Toronto. Maybe they're starting to to look a little we're, better, we're look, about, a little more dangerous. We're, 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 I mean, Boston is going to be our biggest biggest challenge. Okay. Um, and the question is, how healthy is Kyrie? Because he's coming up with little nick injuries. Yeah. Quad. Okay. He had the shoulder injury, uh, but. They okay. So it. if LeBron is in fact going to leave Cleveland, to me, the smart move, the shrewd move, the LeBron move, you better stay east, man. You just better. And go where? Go to the finals. That's where you go. No, I'm saying, but if he stays in the East, okay, you, or, so are you tr saying trade him by the trade deadline or no, next year? No, I'm just talking about if he chooses after this year. Oh, okay, walk, okay, okay. I thought you were You, you about better that. walk East yeah. instead of West because if you, wh wh where are you going to go unless you go to Golden State? Right. And I don't think Golden State's going to want you. But if you stay East, you, like you said, would you go to Boston? I mean, that would have possibilities. But th the big looming possibility would be the Sixers, Philadelphia. Okay, that's all the firepower. That's the young firepower. He needs shooters, though. They don't have enough okay. shooters. He needs shooters. Yeah. Unfortunately, they drafted one with the first overall pick, and I don't know what happened to him. He ain't no shooter. Well, he was in college. He was a pretty good shooter. And then he wrecked his shoulder, and he lost his stroke, and he lost his confidence. I don't know. They might have to just disband on that one. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he had that funky shot to begin with, Skip. And I guess he messed his shoulder up trying to correct it, trying to get a better shot, and he messed with his mechanics and ended up wrecking his shoulder. So we don't know if and when he'll come back and what he'll be. But I I mean, LeBron likes Embiid. I'm sure he does. Uh, uh, ben Simmons is nice, but they need more Ben shooters. Simmons is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they got some other nice pieces on there. That would be his best why shot. Won't, to why me. won't Dan Gilbert trade IT for Kimba? What, what, would that really change life yes. in Philadelphia? It would not. Yes. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in, Cal in Cleveland. Yeah. Trade I'm, IT. No, right I, I'm in, in Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. Well, again, Skip, you see what, who, who wants Isaiah Skip. now? Skip. Does Michael Jordan want Isaiah? I now? mean, I, we by, we close to Isaiah right now the way he's playing, Skip. We close. I mean, I might can take him one on one. Oh, you mean you? you yeah, yeah I might take him. You personally? Yeah, I might take him one on one. I know you could outrun him even that. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. couldn't outrun Jason Witten. Oh, know, but, what did he say yesterday, Skip? He was trying to be nice to you. See, tell the truth, Skip. He, he, he was trying not to humiliate you on live national I TV. started to tell him, I said, on the way, on the, when you drive out to California to race me, stop by and pick up Antonio Gates yeah. and Tony so I can bust all three of you guys at one clip, be declared the winner on my 50th birthday, and retire happily ever after. Would you? <laughs> huh. I'd like to watch. Yeah, I would too. Blow the doze off all three of them. Well, those would be the first steps you've run since you retired as a Oh, player. no, 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 huh? no. I can beat huh? them. I don't think so. You heard him, Skip. Jason Witten is, is sneaky fast. No, 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 no. He ain't nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he ain't sneaking up on yeah. anything. Yeah. No. Well, I'm afraid LeBron is not sneaking up on anybody right now. I, I think he's showing his age, and he's going to have a harder time. Th this isn't I'm taking my talents to South Beach. This is who wants my talents. Everybody go to war. No, I don't think so. Everybody. Not going yeah, they, to yeah, they do. Oh. Now, they just don't. Because here's the thing. It was reported that they offered Paul George, Indiana offered Paul George straight up for Clay Thompson, and they rebuffed that. Mm -hmm. I just think the thing is, is what they built. Clay is, is homegrown. He, Draymond, and Steph, they came up together. It, now, what's make, not to like? Like, what, 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 why, why mess with it? Here's the thing, though, but moving forward. Clay is going to be up he, in, going to be in line for one of them $40 million deals. One, one more year. So, you know? does he. Skip, I not, love Not it. after this year, after next year. I'm, I, I like rings, Skip, but after you get three of them, do I stay here for $20 million a year or do I go somewhere else and make 40, 35? I don't know about you, Skip, but after I get like three or four rings, I can't eat them rings. Mm. I need money. I need a place to put those rings. So in a big old house, 
Well, you know what they say about money. It can't always buy happiness, right? Well, they can rent it for a little while. Okay. Well. Well, I tell you what. I'd rather be sad on the Rolls Royce than unhappy on the bus. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What would you rather be? I'd rather win rings. Man, you cra- I'm all about the How rings. How many rings do you need, well, Skip? I want to dominate. That's we, what I want. You only got one well, ring. I don't have Ernest any D, rings. Ernest D gave you a ring. You don't even wear it. No. But you're not taking the rings on the bus, so I have to agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm going <laughs> no, to be, be A. Oh, man, Sean looks so unhappy in that Rolls Royce. Mm. Look at that guy so just unhappy. bouncing up and down on the bus. No, thank you. Mm. LeBron, we got this. I talked to him and let him know. I'll let you know what we're going to do, Skip. We might end up in San Antonio if Kawhi yeah. get right. You, you know what? Ginobili's drinking what they call Grandpa Juice. Yeah, man. He, he's, the, he's playing Brady-esque at 40. I think LeBron needs some Grandpa Juice now. <laughs> I'm LeBron serious. LeBron just he's, needs, he's looking 40-ish. LeBron just needs to remove someone from the equation, yeah. and LeBron will be just fine. Okay. So now it's Isaiah's fault, just I, like it used to be Kevin's fault. Who's, who's LeBron, fault LeBron never bl- blamed Kevin Love. Mm-hmm. That was Isaiah that blamed Kevin Love. Yeah. How about you? Why, why, why would you support your teammates? Well, yeah, yesterday, Fuck LeBron blamed me. everybody. They're all lazy. All of them lazy. Damn, that's, that's the ultimate finger-pointing, blame-deflecting by LeBron James. D- don't look at me. Okay. I'm not lazy. They're all lazy. I no. hate hearing that from him, mm. too. I hate hearing that. Either way, I'm going to ride in the rolls with you, mm. Shannon. So... Uh, Let's talk off. a bit My about the Patriots. The <laughs> Is there dysfunction in the organization? <laughs> We're going to discuss that next.